Hey, what's up guys? It's Leah and today we're going to be going over my setup for my Nexus 6. So I've had my Nexus 6 for a while now and I wanted to give you guys just an idea and a look at what my Nexus 6 looks like. Uh, what apps I use, what do I do to get LED notification, what ROM, what kernel, etc. like that. So I'm just going to show you guys, make a quick video of what my Nexus 6 looks like and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy it. So make sure to hit like and subscribe and let's start. So let's start with the applications and we'll go deep into the settings and stuff like that, like the kernel ROM later, even though I'm using stock kernel, but I'll talk about everything later. So right now I keep everything in folders. I'm using Nova Launcher. I love Google Launcher because of the cards on the left side when you swipe it, but it kept bothering me that, that with the Google Launcher, the button layout was so big, what the applications layout were larger and I could have changed the DPI, but that changes everything. I just wanted the, the applications itself, the icons to be a little bit smaller. So that's why I switched over to the Nova Launcher. And that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much my setup for my phone. Uh, the Nova Launcher, we got that down. This is my wallpaper, Google Big Nexus 6. I change periodically, but I like this one the most so far. I recently got it from Google+. Plus. Uh, there's, I use three different uh, home boards. I don't know what they call pages, I guess you would say. One side of key for the weather. I've only had this one today. Uh, this is called WTF Weather. It gives you pretty funny weather updates and it's like I saw once weather once it was awful you can't update it very frequently but the ones that come up every single day is pretty funny uh it's like we're all gonna die soon anyway so why check so that's a pretty cool weather up update that's not working right now for some reason so we'll leave that alone but it's definitely a cool app it's new so I guess that's probably why but it usually works uh on this page I keep my music I only have Spotify here for now I switch between Spotify and Google Music. Right now I'm using Spotify because all the music sets available. And yeah, this is the widget I use. It's pretty sl simple. It's not a big difference compared to the other ones. It's just play, next, previous. Uh, and over here, I keep everything organized in folders, Google, social, game, storage, settings, fitness, news, and music. And I keep those very organized because I like to be able to find them. I don't usually open that so and go through each application one by one and i also use pi controls which i didn't point out, i didn't point out before so pi controls is i got rid of this because of all the screen burning issues that's been having with, happening with the nexus 6 and i also love the way this looks like the way it pops up i'll give you guys a link in the description so it's basically the same thing back home and tabs and i like it because i get to have the full desktop experience that tablet experience on my Nexus 6 because this phone is pretty big and I want to be able to utilize the whole screen besides leaving this notification bar. So I just wanted to take out the nav bar and now I have that and it works 90% of the time and it doesn't bother me too much. So see, I click home, back, well there's nothing now, home, tabs, etc. Uh, I guess we'll go through one of each folder, some applications, and then I'll talk about Cloud Magic and Sholi. So Google, of course, you know everything that comes with it. Play movies, Play Store. So that's simple. Uh, and Hangouts, I just want to get. I've been using Hangouts before. I love Hangouts, but because it hasn't been updating, and since I got the Nexus 6, it came with Messenger. I've been using Messenger way more than Hangouts. Just to clarify that because I loved Hangouts with sending gifs to people that have Hangouts, but because the UI has been the same for a while, I have not been using it. Uh, social, the same, the simple stuff. Relay for Reddit. One of the best Reddit clients for uh, re uh, Reddit, I can't even speak. Uh, I use I used to use Bacon Reader and I still use it, but I've been mo converting to Relay for Reddit. And I like it a lot. The UI is way better. Not way better, but I get a little bit more of a colorful experience with Relay compared to Bacon Reader. Bacon Reader is more like a straightforward uh, Reddit look. And then Relay is just a little bit more stuff added on, more features. Phoenix is for Twitter. I like it a little bit more than uh, Twitter. The Twitter app itself is a little messy for I iOS. Uh, this is my Twitter account if you guys want to check me out. It's Leo94. Um, and I like it a lot more than Twitter itself. Keeps everything together, favorite users, everything's in here. The Twitter app itself, it was a little bit messy on Nexus 6, so I didn't think I was going to use it too much. Um, we got Messenger, Instagram. Everything anti-show, so stuff, you know, Tumblr and Facebook. Uh, games. I don't play much games on my Nexus 6 because I've been so busy with school and stuff like that. But now that I finished, maybe I could play a little bit more. But, of course, I have Flappy Bird. 
quick like quick game to play monumental valley i love it now it was on sale for a dollar so i was like hey why not everybody's always recommending it uh threes clash of clans funica which is like a free running game give it up and kingdom brush i'm gonna make a review for these and i'll post them right after i finish and i didn't mean open that application um and then you guys will see that soon uh games are done with that storage i have multiple storage accounts because i have the limits Dropbox, I keep between me and Chris to keep our uh, videos and stuff together. We send it through Dropbox. I have one drive because of my school email where I have, I think, 15 gigabytes of, of data. Drive has 15 gigs and Mega, I think I have 100 gigs. So I was like, oops, sorry for that. So if I ever need a space and I only have a 32 gigabyte Nexus 6, I always put everything up in one of these. Like I would say one drive would be personal, drive would be regular. Uh, Dropbox would be business and Mega would be if I needed extra space. Settings will come back after that. Well, we know an over launcher and downloads. Uh, fitness, I use my fitness to count my calories to work out. Runtastic for running to calculate me by GPS. Fujicade is a good app to help you understand your food or what you're eating. They give you a grade. It's like say if you put special K cereal, they would say it's an A minus due to the stuff that's having in it, etc. Talking a little bit too much, you know about fitness. I keep Bacon Reader here for news because I like it a little bit. New York Post, Circa, and Flipboard. I want to go over Circa. Circa is like a Twitter combined with your newspaper. You follow certain news stories that you like, and they'll give you updated stories on what's happening, etc. And they give you a daily update of everything that's going on in the world. And it's very smooth. See, it tells me there's 17 updated stories you follow, and everything's like th right there. I think this is a great app. Everybody should be checking out. Uh, it gives you everything. You can follow different things. And it's one of the best news clients that I use to get my news. Next up would be music. Like I said before, I don't know why I don't have Spotify here. But I use 8Tracks to follow other people's playlists where it helps me out discovering new music. SoundCloud to discover new music and play music in Spotify, switching back and forth. So let's get into the insides of this. I'm talking. I, the video is getting kind of long, longer than I expected. So let's do this quick. I'm using stock ROM compared to any other ROM, basically because if it's it's not broken, so I thought I would stick with it. But I did change the kernel due to me having more access to the phone, where I could change the color profile. You could see it's not warmish as what would come with your Nexus Six, but it's more of a bright, cool color, which I love. With all my devices, they all have like a cool look. My HTC One M7 had a cool look. My Samsung monitors have a cool type of look I don't know how to explain these with saturation settings but that's what FK update gives you so you have to be rooted to get this stuff so the color controls you, they, they come with different control profiles to change it up a little bit I go with deep black colors colorful I think I go with uh, so you're able to underclock your phone backup CPU manager like you can manage your CPU kernel settings you can access your file manager check, check every file you have and it goes through there you can do everything through here that's pretty cool there's different performance profile that Franco kernel gives you power saving balance performance and there's a way to automate these profiles using tasker but I don't mess with this setting. I don't mess with anything with Franco kernel because it, I think I let the lap alone for one week and everything's working fine I'm getting six hour SOT time so and I'm a, I'm a pretty heavy user so until like 8 a.m. By the time I get home, uh, it's usually 9, and I still have like 20% thanks to this kernel. I didn't get that when I had stock, so I definitely had to change that. So I downloaded Franco kernel through recommendations, did that, and it's been one of the best fan cr uh, best kernels that I've been using. I haven't been testing out the other ones like Hell's kernel, etc. like that, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if there was anything... Oh, and one more, <laughs> one more last one, I think. I use AC display as my lock screen. It keeps everything like in a super UI. I got my time. This is a widget I have. This is not how AC display looks itself. But it's just a quick black and white settings where I change the widget. It's color. But other than that, this is my lock screen, as you can see right there. So that's pretty much my Nexus 6. Pretty long video. I hope you guys like and subscribe even if you're still all the way here through. But this is my Nexus 6. If you guys wanted anything to know about the my, my setup, any settings, any uh, widgets that I have that you would like on your phone, definitely check it out. Uh, definitely email me, and I'll tell you what it is. So this is the case I'm using right now if you wanted to see that. But other than that, thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.